Hello, it's me Dan here with another tutorial. So someone asked me how to set up the completely free vocoder plugin uh, by TAL, T-A-L, uh, Vocoder 2. So I'm going to show you exactly how you would set it up. So a bit of background into how a vocoder works. So a vocoder works by um, sending audio signals, so generally the speech or vocals um, from a microphone to the vocoder and then whatever you play on a keyboard, um, the, the speech shape or audio signal is converted into sort of keyboard notes. Um, and you can have, have a, a series of different um, waveform shapes, whether it be a saw or a square or, or even noise, uh, whatever you're playing on your keyboard as you're speaking, um, it will uh, sort of synthesize it into, um, yeah, a waveform. Okay, so with that in mind, uh, you will need two things to, uh, to use a vocoder. First off, you'll need a MIDI keyboard. So any keyboard that has a MIDI out will be able to do this. So in my cover of Robot Rock, I did use the monologue, but literally any keyboard that has a MIDI out, uh, including MIDI controllers. As long as you've got a, a keyboard and a MIDI out, you're good to go. Sorry, I just wanted to quickly interject because I did forget to mention something important. Yes, you will need an audio interface uh, to receive the MIDI data to bring it into your DAW um, from the cable, from the MIDI out of your keyboard. So yes, okay, back to it. Second thing you'll need is a microphone. So this microphone is going into my interface, uh, into my DAW. So with those two pieces of gear um, set up, let's move into my DAW to show you uh, the plugin and how to set up the tracks. Okay, we are in my DAW. This is Pro Tools, but you can use absolutely any DAW, Logic Reaper, GarageBand, Ableton. They will all work. First up, you'll need to set up a MIDI track or an instrument track, but Whatever it is, uh, make sure it's able to um, receive and record MIDI information. Next, you'll need to set up an audio track. This is going to be receiving uh, the audio signal from your microphone. On that audio track, you will put the uh, as an insert the plugin uh, Tell Vocoder. So if I record um, just the audio track, you can see that it's receiving. Um, the uh, audio signal, but you can't hear anything. Well, you can hear it, but if, if I go to my monitoring of uh, my DAW, you won't be able to hear anything. That is because it is receiving the audio signal from the speech, but for a vocoder to work, it needs to turn it into the, um, the waveform, the synthesizer um, sounds. So the vocoder has sort of no destination point to convert the audio. Um, so you'll need to send the MIDI to it as well. But if I arm the MIDI and I play something, it is receiving MIDI data and my audio track is also receiving audio information, but it's still not working. That's because I haven't set up my uh, output of the MIDI track. So on Pro Tools, it defaults to um, the driver or um, my interface my Scarlet. But uh, as soon as you put the vocoder into an audio track, it will also come down, um, turn up as a send option or an output option of the MIDI track. So here I've got audio one, tell vocoder two, um, and it's got audio channel one. So make sure it's on channel one of the vocoder um, output. And now when I play and talk at the same time, you will be able to hear a vocoder effect. Um, great. So that's pretty much how you set, set it up. So it's not going to have any sound unless you press down a key and talk. If you're talking, it won't work. If you're pressing down a key without talking into the microphone, it's not going to work. 
So just some basics of uh, the vocoder. You've got the carrier signal. So this is what the voice is going to turn into. Um, you've got your basic uh, wave shape. You've got saw, which is what it is now. Hello, hello, hello. Um, and then you could make it into a pulse, which is a square. Hello, hello, hello. Um, you've got a sub which is just um, the octave below. So you still, you have, you have a, like if I had to saw and if you brought the sub into it, it's going to bring um, an octave below. So just give it a little bit more beef to the sound. And if you really would like to um, imitate the Dalek voice from Doctor Who, you can use the noise. Exterminate. So there you have it. Uh, how to set up the Tal vocoder. Um, with any MIDI uh, device and a microphone. Uh, admittedly, when I first tried to figure this out, I got really confused. Don't stress, I was in the same boat. <laughs>